I just want to say welcome to you all. Welcome to the 17th annual uh, members and stakeholders feedback session. Uh, it's almost 18 years ago that the NBI was launched uh, by President Nelson Mandela in 1995, and certainly destined for success. The NBI is South Africa's preeminent voluntary movement that has been acknowledged by government and other stakeholders as a credible partner. The NBI's international partners, such as the World Business Council on Sustainable Development and the United Nations Global Compact, have recognized the NBI's ability to inspire, mobilize business for voluntary action to its progressive business leadership and actions. However, and I think this is the important bit, the impact of the NBI is only possible through strong and involved membership that is in part of not just supporting the NBI, but actively shaping its agenda and involvement in its programs. So as Dan said, the NBI was uh, launched in 1995. Um, and at that point in time, really it focused on mobilizing business skills and resources to help make the new democracy work. Um, moving a bit forward seven years on, I think the NBI took up the business case for sustainable development. Um, and in more recent years has been looking at how we shape a sustainable future through responsible and progressive business leadership and action. I think that where we are at the moment is looking at how we accelerate that. So it's not necessarily anything uh, remarkably different, but I think that we do recognize the case that we've got to move forward, that we've got to um, operate at the cutting the cutting edge of sustainability and the cutting edge of business thought and leadership in, in South Africa, in particular given the very deep, um, deep and intractable social, economic and environmental challenges that we, that, that we face as a country and as a planet. We believe in the impact through collective action and here are um, the NBI has about 140 corporate members and this just gives you a sense of who they are. The NBI's uh, value proposition really looks at, stands on three legs. Um, we do research and try and generate a leading edge thought development, as well as providing for business practical tools, approaches that will support implementation uh, across the entire spectrum of sustainability. And what I should have probably said at the beginning, our understanding of sustainability is that it encompasses social, economic, and environmental factors. Um, we then look at uh, the second leg of the value proposition is around the work that we do in order to, to, to achieve networking and facilitation. And we build shared platforms. We look at building bridges with other stakeholders. And we look at connecting and facilitating within the business community as well. And the final leg is around collective action. And that really is the project work that we're doing, which is bringing business together to work together to achieve a common outcome, mm -hmm. as well as looking at how companies can work independently, um, but drive action towards bigger and more sustainable outcomes. And I suppose the big example of that, of the work that the NBI does, is the Carbon Disclosure Project, where individual companies all participate in their own right, and the outcome of that is a collective uh, form of disclosure of emissions. In terms of the content through which, um, th that th through which we drive the value proposition, um, there are at the moment four key areas of content work that the NBI is involved in. The first is work around a skilled and appropriate workforce. I'm sure that we all know that we have a very serious educational and skills crisis in our country and for business it is a fundamental imperative that we support in whatever way we can uh, the achievement of greater, a, a greater skills base in our country and in society. We do a lot of work around sustainable and efficient resource use and management. That's fundamentally our environmental sustainability work. We have brought on board a whole lot of new work around infrastructure demand and utilization. And then we do um, a great deal of work around effective and ethical management, both in the public as well as in the private sector. Um, and that, to a large extent, is underpinned by the work that we do as the focal point for the United Nations Global Compact in South Africa. And all of this really is underpinned by our key partnerships with the UNGC 
and with the World Business Council on sustainability, on, on sustain the WBCSD. And through that, I think that what we also draw on, we draw on a very big pool of international expertise and a set of frameworks, tools, methodology, and big practice, a best practice that we want to bring into the South African context. We would like to pull this all together by establishing comprehensive workplace experiential training initiatives and entry level initiatives with business is really a key focus. And the other uh, key focus is the bridge to employment program and um, the work on green skills. So that really is where we see ourselves going in this year. So if we look at the, the, the highlights in the past year, we, um, we, we, we once again for the sixth year ran the carbon disclosure project. Uh, in partnership with the London-based uh, CEO. And uh, it's really the work over the last six years has expanded um, its influence f to, to companies from outside the JSE Top 100. That was where, that's who we target, that's who primarily respond, but it is moving beyond that. And it has had impacts into companies that really do go far beyond um, the act of simple uh, disclosure now. It's also become, uh, I think, the, 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 the basis of companies understanding what it might mean to disclose emissions um, in, in, in a context where that is likely to become something that is mandatory. In terms of the Energy Efficiency Le Leadership Network, we launched that at the, in COP17 at the end of 2011. Um, uh, Stan, our MC, is also chairs the Energy Efficiency Leadership Network. We have over 50 companies that have signed up and it's starting to build um, a network that is doing a huge amount of work around building capacity within business and building the ability for companies to come together and share best practice in the field of energy efficiency. And I'm sure all of us will agree that given the energy security challenges we face as a country that really energy efficiency is firstly a no-brainer and then secondly is the first, I suppose the first forefront of action both in relation to reducing carbon emissions as well as to achieving a set of cost, cost savings and technology innovations. So um, I think I've spoken about the Energy Efficiency Leadership Network. It's an area of work that we as the NBI would like to radically scale up during the course of the year. We are busy talking to one of our partners about securing the resources and the funding that would really enable us to deliver probably the biggest energy efficiency program that has taken place in the private sector in South Africa. In terms of the green economy and climate change, we want to support large and small business in the transition to a green and low carbon economy. Uh, we do this through capacity building, provision of information and problem solving. We uh, do work to try and generate the CEO level will for the transition. We are in the process of developing an NBI uh, plan around the impacts of climate change and adaptation, um, and also looking at the issues of trying to support companies in identifying and addressing climate risk. And then we do a lot of work around building the ability of business to measure, support, and verify their carbon emissions. Okay, then if effective um, and ethical management, this is not an entirely new area for the NBI, but we have tried to upscale this work substantially in the last year, and it'll, it's a big area of our work going forward. Um, and I, I just want to highlight from this a, a, couple, of, a, a couple of the areas, and in particular, um, I think we want to support business in integrating sustainability into their strategies, operation, and measuring and reporting frameworks. This is very closely linked to the work of the, of, of the UNGC and the emphasis of the United Nations Global Compact on reporting um, against company performance on a set of principles that really do cover the entire sustainability spectrum. Um, and there also, I think another important aim is to establish and drive collective action initiatives that build an ethical and transparent business culture. And we also do in that context um, a fair amount of, uh, of anti-corruption work in partnership with others that I'll also talk about a bit in a bit more detail. In the public sector, um, we want to actively support government in developing the capabilities and capacities to create a competent public sector through coaching and mentoring programs. It's an area of work that the NBI has historically been involved in and we, we are taking that forward in a number of areas. And we, 
I think together with all other business organizations in the whole country, intend to support the implementation of the National Development Plan through creating the channels for business to be involved in overcoming um, implementation challenges. And we've been talking to the NDP over the last few months about a, a program of dialogues, not just talking for the sake of talking, but talking around key areas where we see that there are challenges in being able to achieve a, a, a set of national goals uh, where we believe that putting heads together might enable us to find solutions and allow processes to move. So, so, so that will happen going forward. Okay, so if we look at what would we like to achieve in the long run, this is not 2013 to 15, I think it's a time frame that goes a bit beyond that. We would like to see that collective action by business has had a significant and positive impact on socioeconomic and environmental issues. I'm sure it's something we all want to happen. We would like ourselves to be seen, to continue to be seen as a trusted platform for collaboration and engagement between business and government that leads to action. And we would like to see that our member companies have integrated sustainability into their strategies and operations. A and to do that, we've also developed a set of tools that enable us to provide a much more customized and focused set of membership uh, services to our members. And then finally, I think that we would like to see that business leadership is seen as ethical, trusted, transparent, and forward-looking. Finally, into the future, we would like to see a sustainable, equitable, and thriving society that makes South Africa one of the world's great places to live, work, and do business. <laughs>